You know, a while back, you may recall, we talked with the Mackinac Center for Public Policy. They basically issued an opinion that uh, Michigan's no-fault auto insurance law is a failure, and they were calling out lawmakers to take it up and talk about it. We talked about it with our local uh, representatives, Dave Maturin and Dr. John Bison, who both basically said so far they don't see a whole lot of motivation in Lansing to talk about it. Meanwhile, there's been a statewide poll now uh, that uh, focused on that same subject, interestingly. And Mark Fisk joins us this morning, spokesperson for the Insurance Alliance of Michigan, to talk about that. Good morning, Mark. Good morning. Thanks for having me on your show, Richard. Appreciate well, it. thank you for the time. So uh, what was the poll actually asking? Yeah, well, let's, uh, let's set the stage. This was some of the most comprehensive research that has been done on the issue of auto insurance in Michigan. There was a survey of 600 likely Michigan voters, four focus groups, and the, what, the, what the research showed, um, it, it really sent a clear message. There is overwhelming and bipartisan support for reforming the auto uh, no-fault system. Voters who are Republicans, Democrats, and independents, really across the state, from western, the western UP, to Battle Creek, to southeast Michigan, say the system is broken, it's outdated, and it's time for a change. And if I could, let me read you a couple of these findings, because they really are striking. Our firm works on a lot of issues, and it has been a long time since we've seen this kind of broad support and mm. the intensity behind it. Nearly 8 in 10 people now say the cost of auto insurance is too high, Richard. Wow. Set, yeah, 8 in 10, um, and three-quarters of them feel that auto insurance – costs have actually increased, which is true in recent years, 75% of people we talk to, again, all political stripes, all demographics, say costs in Michigan are higher than other states. So, so they know uh, your listeners are aware that the cost of auto insurance is a real problem. Half of the people we surveyed say the system uh, hurts them more than it helps them. Hmm. Um, and there's just a consensus that these, these, this, the system is is outdated. And again, what's so striking is the part, there is not really a partisan divide like we see in other issues. Listen to this. 81% of Republicans favor reform. Hmm. 73% of independents and 65% of Democrats. And Democrats, as they get more information in the course of the survey, it's amazing. Their support grows, their intensity grows. And so they're there. And there is a demand and a clamor out there among the voters in Michigan to do something about the system, and it all revolves around the issue of cost, Richard. We are now the third highest in the nation. The city of Detroit, by some reports, is the highest in the nation. Mm. In wow. Detroit, Yes, in Detroit, folks can pay an average, and this is an average, of $10,000 a year for auto insurance. It's close to $3,000 um, if you're outside of the city. So you really from, again, from the western UP to southeast Michigan, folks want to change. The system is not working. And there's some very common sense proposals to your initial comment about Lansing that could bring about significant savings uh, for consumers. So I hope we get the chance to talk about them because they as well are extremely popular. The voters embrace them. Um, right. So anyways, uh, that's, that's kind of the gist of the uh, – uh, of the research. Can I, can I just say one more thing about the research? Yeah. Fraud. Cracking down on fraud tops the list of proposals to reform the system. That, the is, what, that is what we call a no-brainer with voters, that you would simply require people to provide proof that they're injured in a car accident, that you crack down on some of the unscrupulous practices that are now rampant in the system, the Detroit Free Press recently did an investigative series yeah. on no fault. They mm -hmm. called it in the. It's called a welcome mat for fraud, um, and 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 everybody is feeding at the trough, unfortunately. And the losers here are Michigan consumers. Second, um, in auto insurance, we do not have what's called a fee schedule, which is set rates for medical procedures. So. You can pay two and three and four times as much for the exact same procedure under your auto insurance as you would under another form of insurance huh. or Medicare, workers' comp. In fact, the Free Press pointed out an egregious example where one MRI cost uh, a consumer $5,300. That same MRI under Medicare, 500 bucks. Oh so 
folks are just gorging themselves um, on, on a system that lacks accountability. Last but not least, people want choice. They want to be able to say, hey, for my family and my situation, I would like a certain amount of coverage. They want a tiered system of choices like you get with your you know, cable or, or your cell phone. They want to be able to – or your homeowner's coverage. So you could pick different levels of coverage, and believe it or not, that alone would engender tremendous savings. All of these proposals, fraud, fee schedule, and giving some choice and competition would engender huge savings, and they're really popular. So here's an example where good public policy and good politics intersect. They come together. They're very popular with voters, Richard. You know, it's interesting that you talked about uh, the notion of different levels of coverage and choice and all that and comparing it to cable companies. I, <laughs> My observation has been that insurance companies, for auto insurance anyway, have been like cable companies. They've been luring us in with low rates, and then every six months they raise them. Did you hear anything about that? Well, here, when it comes to auto no fault, we are required in Michigan, Richard, required, mandated to purchase unlimited lifetime medical benefits. A lot of people don't even know that when they purchase their auto insurance policy, but we are required to purchase unlimited lifetime medical benefits. And that is the core. That is the leading culprit in Michigan's exorbitant auto insurance premiums that keep going up, up, up. Now, when you couple that mandate with the fact that there's rampant fraud, as pointed out by the Free, free Press, by the Citizens Research Council, and that medical providers within auto insurance are actually encouraged to push more procedures, more expensive procedures, regardless of outcomes for health care. Well, you can see what you have is an exacerbating uh, a spiral um, of escalating cost year after year after year. But the, the biggest culprit is that unlimited lifetime medical benefits. That's why that choice, giving people the choice, one proposal that's out there is to allow people to choose if they want that unlimited coverage, mm -hmm. but you could also give them other levels, 500000 a million-dollar cap. By the way, for context for your listeners, every other state in the nation uh, has a cap on medical benefits. The next highest to Michigan is New York at 50000 okay? So, but, and we're at unlimited medical coverage. So the next nearest state, New York, 50000 But be that as it may, if you let people keep their unlimited medical, but gave them a couple of other tiers. Maybe they have Medicare. Maybe they have good health care insurance. Maybe their family situation is different. You would engender significant savings in the state of Michigan. You really can have the best of both worlds. You can have outstanding health care coverage, and you can have more affordable auto insurance. You don't have to choose. They're doing it in so many other states. That's really the model we're trying to push with lawmakers in both party and Lansing. And honestly, if I was a lawmaker in Lansing and I saw the poll, and I saw the overwhelming support and the intensity. I would want to be all over this. Well, it's now, interesting because we talked about that with our Battle Creek representatives, and both of them kind of shrugged and said, you know, there, there doesn't seem to be a lot of, of interest yet in starting uh, to look at this. You're saying maybe the wind is changing. I think the wind has been changing, okay. and I think it, it continues to get stronger and stronger. We talked to a lot of lawmakers in both parties, Richard. And they are telling us, I'm not sure what's going on in Battle Creek with the representatives there, but they're telling us that increasingly over the years, they're hearing about the cost of auto insurance at their town halls, mm -hmm. at their coffee hours when they go door to door. And there are some lawmakers out there who are going to have to answer to their constituents next year and say, well, what did you do about auto insurance rates? To your point, they're going up year after year. And we hear a lot of talk. We want some action. Now, the House leadership and the Senate leadership have identified publicly reforming auto insurance as a top priority for their caucuses this year. Okay. So I'm, I'm encouraged I'll get it done. Now, here's another piece you, put, you may or may not know. Mayor Duggan in Detroit has lent his voice to this important debate. So this is not a Republican or Democratic thing like our poll showed. This is a bipartisan movement of people who are saying, we got to do something. This isn't sustainable. we got to bring down costs for consumers. Mayor Duggan has been very clear that the cost of auto insurance, think about that, the cost of auto insurance is one of the leading impediments holding back Southeast Michigan from even more growth and even more success. Now, that's a huge deal. So I think if we roll up our sleeves and work together, 
we can get it done. The voters want us to get it done. Clearly, the wind is at our back. But let's, let's be clear, Richard. There are very powerful special interests that make money off the current system. They right. profit off the current broken, outdated system. They profit off the status quo, so they're going to fight tooth and nail. They've got an army of lobbyists fighting it, and they're in the ears of lawmakers, too, saying, oh, don't do anything. Don't do anything now. Kick the can down the road. Don't act. We believe this poll says the time to act is now. So it would, in the reform discussion, is no fault part of the landscape going forward, or is the notion uh, as well that not only is reform necessary, but the no-fault part has to change, too? Well, that's an excellent question. I mean, you, you'll notice that there are several states that have completely scrapped and abandoned no-fault altogether. Yeah. Okay, they have done that, like Colorado and Connecticut. I mean, it's too expensive. Georgia says it's just too expensive. We can't keep doing this. But the Insurance Alliance of Michigan believes that, that you can reform the current system. I mean, it hasn't undergone significant changes since 1973. I mean, that is a long time. We're talking 43, 45 years, and they haven't really touched or tweaked the law in any significant way. It's time to look at it and modernize it and change it. But between uh, fraud, cracking down on fraud, number one, number two, getting a handle on the runaway medical costs, charging three and four times for the same procedure that you would under auto insurance by having a fee schedule and imposing a fee schedule, too. We've seen that work in other areas like workers' compensation. And three, simply giving consumers the choice of what uh, level of medical coverage they want under their auto insurance is going gonna, is gonna to generate huge savings for Michigan. Why wouldn't we do that, especially given these poll results? By the way, who is the Insurance Alliance of Michigan? Oh, great question. This is a group of insurance companies from across the state. Uh, they represent, you know, tens of thousands of employees across the state. And um, they also, you know, responsible for tens of millions, if not hundreds of millions of dollars of investment. And they've come together, um, not to get in the weeds, but there used to be two different groups of insurance companies. And they have now merged. Uh, formed one group, the Insurance Alliance of Michigan, because they are so dedicated to changing this broken, outdated system. They say, we got to come together. we got to speak with one voice going into Lansing, and we got to make a change here for our consumers because this just is not sustainable. Are we talking about the big guys here, part of the alliance, the AAAs and the state farms? Yep, yep. yep. Yeah. There are big, there are the big guys, as you call them, and the little guys. It's a very diverse group, but Again, it's tens of thousands of people across Michigan, employees, and not to mention the, you know, the the uh, the agent community um, that also we we partner with very yeah. often. But it's it's a big group, and they want to speak with one voice because it's really time for change, and it's just it's it's high time for change. So I hope the lawmakers in Lansing will heed the results of these polls, listen to their constituents, and act this year. We can get this done. We are going to have to push back on the medical providers in the hospitals and. Those that the Detroit Free Press investigative series identified as profiting. There's going to be a fight. There's no doubt about it. But we got to dig in and we got to do this for consumers. This could be a bipartisan win uh, going into next year. So, what will the alliance do to try and influence that? Well, we are making our case, of course, to the legislature as we have. We're talking to lawmakers in both parties, uh, we're communicating publicly. We are doing media interviews like we're doing on, the, on your show this morning and trying to get the word out and trying to encourage constituents in a respectful and, and, and diplomatic way to call your lawmaker and urge them to act. Don't wait anymore. We know what needs to be done if we're going to fix the system and bring relief to Michigan consumers under the auto no-fault system. Let's do it now. Let's not wait anymore. Let's not push it off. Let's get this done. So if you can call your lawmaker and tell them that this is a priority for you, you want them to focus on reducing auto insurance rates, that would help enormously. But, of course, we're pushing as well at Lansing, at the local level. Employees of insurance companies are engaging in this because they're, they're on the front lines. They're hearing about it every single day. Why are my, why are my insurance rates so high? Mm -hmm. Why do they keep going up, up, up? Why, why, why are drivers in Ohio – okay, by, by statistics, are worse than Michigan, but they pay less for insurance. Why is that happening? And the answer is the no-fault system is outdated, it's broken, it hasn't been changed in 73, and we've got to tackle this unlimited lifetime medical benefit in the auto insurance policy if we're going to get it done. And it can be done. We appreciate the time, Mark. Thank you.
Thank you so much for having me. Really appreciate the time. Mark Fisk, spokesperson for Insurance Alliance of Michigan. And as I said before, when we brought this up last month to Representatives Maturin and Bison, uh, they didn't seem to have the feeling that there was much movement in this effort. Mark's saying there's more movement than ever. So if it is a passion of yours to uh, to see auto insurance rates go down, uh, maybe it's a call you can make to their offices and let them know.